this is an absolute value function. Oh, y is equal to the absolute value of x. So even if x is negative, it makes y positive. Oh, and, then you just draw. and then you draw your lines through it. Okay? Then you just draw your lines through it. Yes? Actually, it can. It would just be flipped upside down. But let's focus on this first. Start at the y-axis on 3. It's crossing the y-axis at 3. Up 1 and over 2. Very good. Your slope is up 1 and over 2 in both directions. Then from here, what this is all you need. You just do it twice. You, yeah, that's all you need because you can draw a line here. And you can draw a line here, and that's the graph. If it was negative, if it was negative, it would be. Let's look at that. It would be upside down. The fact that it's absolute value means that once it hits a certain point, it's reflected back in the opposite direction. Now, if the slope is negative, that means that it's reflected down. If the slope is positive, it's reflected up. Now you can always check yourself by plugging these coordinates in here and making sure that that works out. For instance, here I say that x is 0 and y is 3. Well, if I said 1 half times 0, that goes away, plus 3, y is 3. Y equals three. Yeah. Okay. okay. And if you wanted to check this next point here, x is two, y is one, two, three, four. So you'd say if y is four, when x is two, this should work out to be four. So half of two. Well, the absolute value of two is two, right? Yeah. What's half of two? One. What's one plus three? Four. And four does equal four. <laughs> the coordinates at that point. No, I just figured that out by starting on the vertex and then finding two points by using the slope. Are we going to check it? No, you don't have to check it. I mean, if you're unsure, I would suggest you check it. Okay? I'm just showing you how you can check to see if you're right. But you don't have to check to see if you're right. If you know if you know exactly what you're doing and you're confident, no. Okay, let's look at another one. Let's say we do this. F of x equals negative one third absolute value of x plus four. Is the v opening up or down? And where's the vertex of it? Four. At positive 4. 
and my movement is down one and out three. So it's a fat V. Down one and out three. Down one and out three. You can make another line if you want to, I mean another point if you want to, but you really don't need to. Because this is the graph of that function. There's more involved, but we're going to get into the rest of it tomorrow. Right now, we're just going to worry about this right here. Um, I want you to go online tonight for your homework assignment. It's not going to be this. I'm going to create something that you have to download. Because I'm going to just make a bunch of problems. Do they have an answer? No viruses.